What's up guys, today I'm going to teach you how to tape your stick like a professional hockey player. The first step is just to remove the tape you already have on. It should be old and there should be some holes in it and stuff, so it should be pretty easy to take off. So it should come off really nice, unless it's been like really wet or something. Now the actual taping part begins. So if you've already taped a, a stick before, like any kind of way, you know how to start off. You just gotta put it where you want it to start. You probably want it to start right where it will meet the ice, so like right about there. You just wanna smooth that tape along the back, and then, you. What are you barking at? <laughs> okay, so after you've done that part, you just want to wrap, just start wrapping. Um, you should like overlay it like that, kind of. Hold on, I'll show you. Overlay it like that. So, like a little less than half, because overlay it too much, the tape will be too thick, and it'll be probably pretty uncomfortable to play on. So just wrap it. And after every few uh, wraps, you just want to go and smooth it to make sure the tape is smooth and not wrinkling. So I'm gonna speed up this process till we get to the toe part, and I'll show you how to do that. So we're getting near the toe, I'm just going to finish it up to where the point where you actually start taping the actual toe part, and I'll check back with you guys. Okay, so we're here. See how close we are? So yeah, that's where you can get it without it hanging off. So to tape the toe, I'm going to show you up close. So here we are at the toe. You're going to want to have your scissors on hand because we're going to use them really soon. So what you want to do is just go go across. I'm trying to hold this as still as I can. Just want to go across and see how this part hangs off a little right here. See that part right there? You want to pinch it, okay? You want to pinch it so it creates that little point. And you want to do the same. After you do that, you want to go for the back wrap. And you want to do the same. See how that there this little thing here? So want to pinch it, okay? Pinch it as tight as you can, and then on the back, it'll make the same thing. And you just want to try to pinch that too. There we go. We're done the back wrap, and you can see it's creating much bigger points. You just want to pinch that the same way you're just pinching the small ones. So now you see how this is actually hanging over the actual shaft of the blade, which is right there. Um, you want to stop it, but if you, on the back it isn't the same, you just want to continue on the back and then just do the same pinch. Okay, so when it's like this on the back and the front, sorry, the back and the front here, um, you just want to cut it off right there with the scissors. You want to make sure you have really sharp scissors. Um, or else the tape's going to cut really jagged and you won't get the uh, result that you want. So there we go. And this is what your stick should look like. Zoom it out. What it should look like. So now you see you have this, this like tons of tape overhanging. All you want to do is make sure that they're pinched first, really tight. Then you just want to cut it off and you want to trace around the, the end of the toe. And you'll be surprised, but it actually stays together and it looks like there's no seam on the side. It looks so good. I'll show you after I'm done. There we go, look at that. Isn't that cool? And you can just smooth it down if you want, but there's nothing really to smooth down if you have sharp enough scissors. And there we go. This is how NHL players, at least most NHL players, tape their stick. Now let's go test this out on the ice. I'll see you guys there. Thank <laughs> you.